Hey guys, this is Sam. One of the Apple products that I'm most excited to get my hands on later this year is the Apple HomePod. Now at first look, this is not actually just a roll of toilet paper. This is the Apple HomePod and I kind of like the way it looks. It's like a shorter, stubbier version of the Mac Pro, which is how it was first described and we started hearing rumors about it back in May or April. And I didn't actually think that Apple would be announcing the speaker at WWDC 2017, but it happened. And I covered the rumors, but I actually never made a separate video on the product itself, which is weird because I was really excited going into it. And then I guess I just got overwhelmed by all the new stuff in iOS 11 and Mac OS that I just forgot about it. Now you've probably never noticed, but behind me on this desk always sits two speakers. It's a stereo connected pair of the Sonos Play One model. I actually got it right here for closer look and analysis. This is very comparable to Apple's HomePod, but the Apple HomePod is bigger, heavier, wider, taller in every way, shape, and form. This is like a smaller version of the Apple HomePod, but the mesh design looks really similar. The HomePod's also gonna be available in black and white, and Sonos is available in black and white as well. I've been using these for years, and I really like the way that they sound, but the Apple HomePod and the Sonos are comparable for one major reason. Neither of them are going to use Bluetooth and they're gonna function, especially for the Apple HomePod based off of what it looks like on the Apple's website, uh, exclusively over Wi-Fi. Now because neither of these use Bluetooth, you can't really take them anywhere. They're definitely designed for use in the home and that's exactly what we've done with these in our house. So we have seven of these in our home, two in the kitchen, two in one bedroom, two in this room, and one in the upstairs bathroom. So we have these everywhere and the coolest part of Sonos is you have a centralized app on your phone and you can connect to Apple Music or Pandora or Spotify and stream music or even use music off of your home hard drive on your iTunes library and stream that to Sonos as well. There's zero latency. So you can use Sonos in a couple of different ways. The way that I use it the most is playing the same song in every room in my house. So if I have five speakers, I can play the same song four times or five times louder than if I just had one speaker or you can have the opposite. So if you have a lot of people that live in your house that have different music tastes, the upstairs room can be playing rock, the downstairs can be playing pop, R&B in the basement, every room can have its own music, which is why I'm a big fan of Sonos because it's all high quality, it streams over Wi-Fi, and it just sounds incredible. So even though this might seem like an ad for Sonos, I wanted to compare it to the two because I think that those are gonna be competing directly once Apple's HomePod launches. We got some new details about the HomePod the other day. Apparently the screen on the top is actually a screen. Some people might have thought that because it has Siri, and when you talk to Siri, those activate, it could just be randomly colored LEDs, but it's an actual screen with a resolution of 272 by 340, some developers digging through Apple's HomePod. Pre-release software that also unveiled the iPhone 8's design also found this, like this HomePod software is loaded with information about the future of Apple's products. There's also one gigabyte of RAM on the inside, and in addition to that, it's got 802.11ac Wi-Fi, which is much newer than the Sonos Play 1, just because the Sonos Play 1 has been out for three or four years now, and obviously Wi-Fi has updated and changed since then, but the speaker has yet to receive an update since it's been introduced. So if you heard one gigabyte of RAM in the HomePod and got kind of scared, I wouldn't worry about it too much just because it's a smart speaker, and even though two gigabytes or three gigabytes or more is becoming the standard on mobile devices, this is just a speaker sitting in your house, and I think one gigabyte will be plenty sufficient. So while the Sonos Play 1 has been a great speaker, I'm so excited for Apple's HomePod because of the new tech packed inside. I wanna read off some of the specs from the website. A high excursion woofer with custom amplifier, an array of seven horn-loaded tweeters. Seven tweeters in a speaker this size seems a little bit ridiculous, so I, I can't wait to hear how this sounds. A six microphone away for far field, Siri, and room sensing, internal low frequency calibration, microphone for automatic bass correction, direct and ambient audio beamforming, and transparent studio level dynamic processing. A lot of this sounds like marketing lingo, but the actual speakers on the inside, the woofer and the tweeters, sound like this is going to be a really great sounding speaker. Apple's HomePod will be shipping in December of 2017 for $349, which is a lot more money, $150 more than the Sonos Play 1. But I think the tech packed inside is gonna make it worth it just based off the specs that I'm reading right now. I like the fact that there's a gigabyte of RAM on the inside. I like the fact that it has a screen on the top to display shapes, maybe other than just circles when you're talking to Siri, maybe apps could possibly integrate with the service one day or depending what you're listening to. 
I think it'd be cool if they put like a music visualizer on the top of the HomePod, just so you could visualize the highs and the lows. So if you're excited for the HomePod, make sure you hit that like button down below. And of course hit subscribe if you wanna see more videos like this in the future. I'm excited to get my hands on both and compare the two. I think a lot of people are very skeptical about Apple's ability to create a good sounding smart speaker that also has Siri capabilities that can control the lights and doors and anything HomeKit enabled in your house. But I have confidence. It seems like a solid product. I like the way it looks and it's a little pricey, but I guess we'll just have to find out whether or not it's worth it. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. I've been Sam. I hope you're doing great and I'll talk to you later.